What up, what up, y'all? My name is Samuel Chaco. I'm the editor-in-chief of Talamarks. And my name is Samuel Carey. I'm the staff editor of uh, Talamarks as well. I'm the arts and, Enter arts and entertainment director. All right, and we go get right into it, though, with our review for the movie Black Adam. I don't know why I feel like doing this, you know what I'm <laughs> but Black Adam, if you guys haven't seen it, superhero movie, DC-based, with uh, the actor uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, did an excellent, excellent um, uh, review, excuse me, not a review, he did an excellent job d during this project, I believe that um, this was caught me by surprise, because it's my first time seeing him as a, as a superhero, or I should say super villain, um, in the film, he has great power, similar to the powers of uh, Shazam. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen the movie or, you know what I'm saying, just uh, read the comic books, he has a uh, similar power. This was years, years, you know what I mean, before him. And in a nutshell, uh, not to, you know what I'm saying, do say too much for like for those who haven't actually seen the film even though the rock actually uh spoiled it for <laughs> some he um his he's a villain and he uses his powers you could say for evil but people don't know a story all the way so one could say he's a villain some you know like his own people said he's a hero Sam, what you think um honestly I'm just gonna warn everybody here. Um, there might be spoilers coming, so some of the plot, things like that. But um, for Dwayne the Rock Johnson as an actor, I feel like he did a pretty good job. Usually, like some of the films that he does are pretty good. When I think when you it's think okay. of like Jumanji, he did a decent yeah, job on that. Mm. He did okay, but right. this one, I'm not a big like movie person. I'm not a big like uh, I guess DC or like those kind of like action movies i'm not a big fan of it usually it's like the good guy wins bad guy loses it's kind of the case not to spoil too much it's kind of the case on this film but honestly i feel like it's a good film um i didn't sleep through it <laughs> like most of the films but um yeah i think i think he did a really good job with acting especially like when it comes to like when he acts with like different characters and different roles yeah. he did a really good job with that uh there's like foreshadowing occasionally with like when he talks to the kid in the beginning Things like that. So, like, I think he did a good job with it. He worked with people very well. It's a rock. He's going to work with people very well. So, Like, for example, when he works with uh, uh, Pierce Bronsman, a.k.a. 007 of my generation, <laughs> uh, he did, a, like, me, I'm not much of a DC fan at all. It's all, you know what I'm saying, Team Marvel, <laughs> like, for me. But when I saw it, I was like, you know what? This is actually quite good because I thought, yeah, just as he said, you know, I thought it was just like a typical superhero, bad villain, girl gets kidnapped, somebody get kidnapped, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then, <laughs> right, and then eventually um, they all gonna get saved. But as I said before, not to say too much, sometimes, yeah, um, the superhero doesn't always wear a cape. You know what I mean? Um, you don't get the happy ending as much as you would want to, but I will say the action made me glued to the TV because it was it was quite amazing. It's non-stop fighting back and forth. Bop, 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 bop. And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, this was this was something good, though. This is something that the uh, people wanted to see. Um, even, you know, uh, uh, Rotten Tomatoes gave it uh, 40%. When it I, comes to the critics, the critics right. are not very big of a fan of it. Yeah. yeah you know, when it's audience, 90%, which is what good. Do? It's pretty good. But in terms of all that though, yeah, the fighting I will say is like, man, he was similar to the powers of, you know what I mean, super. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I was gonna say superhero, Superman. It was just incredible. But but personally, I feel like when you have like that dark side and you like the main person that people want to see, yeah, you it, he he shows no mercy. I'm, I'm just gonna say that it was just a lot of ruthless killing. Well, you know, you gotta expect that in a in a villain type movie so I don't care if it was a spoiler mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say who dies or you know yeah. what I'm saying such and such you know what I mean get hurt but it was a, a lot of killing though too imagine if it was a rated R movie oh my god oh, oh bro it would have been, <laughs> been crazy it would have been crazy that would have been crazy you would have loved it cause you were so, talking about the rated R movies cause the only the only rated R film um that was a superhero movie that I believe that was the first to be done. Well, what was it? Was Deadpool? That? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Well, well, I was going to say um, uh, Logan. 
mm-hmm. but it wasn't. Yeah, you're right. That, yeah, Deadpool was the first one. Logan was the second. But I was that surprised me because I'm like, wow, X Men is actually saying the F word. That's <laughs> Yeah, that's weird to me. It's crazy to me, so too. But yeah, Black Adam, good review. Um, uh, like in our opinion, it was a it was a good good film though too. Um, the actress that played uh, as a superhero, Cyclone, if I'm not mistaken, Quindella, um, Swindle, amazing actress. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna say that though too. <laughs> amazing actress, and in the future, get at me. <laughs> but yeah, let's kind of go back to I guess the action scenes. The action scenes were pretty good. I, I agree with Sam. They were really good, um, especially with like the effects and like the the gruesomeness. Surprisingly, was actually like not a rated R, maybe PG thirteen occasionally. Um, but yeah, I felt like it was really good too. I was surprised that like a lot of like the innocent quote unquote innocent killings and kind of like the plot of like kind of like superheroes with fighting Black Adam yeah. and, and eventually having to like assemble. Um, I thought it was it's a okay, like it's not, it's kind of like the average thing. But when you look, this was a film that I've watched, I think a decent, a long time ago. Like I think it was Batman versus Superman. God awful. Yeah. God awful. I didn't even want to see it. Yeah. It was God awful. I watched it. it I was like, it's so bad. It's just, <laughs> it's like so, it was so horrible. So like, <laughs> Compared to that, it's amazing. But, like, when you think about it, like, the, the fighting was pretty good. Like, that's what you kind of expected when it comes to, like, when you think of, like, Superman versus Batman. Like, yeah. you're expecting, like, that. But I'm telling you, it does not disappoint. That movie's really good. The actors really work well. Um, especially even, like, even when it's centered from Black Adam, it shows different perspectives. It shows, like, the family, I'm not going to get too into detail with it, but it shows some of the family that was kind of part of, like, the history mm-hmm. that was going on. Also, like, the side, not, not, it's not really even side characters. Like, even the characters that kind of, like, initially fought, mm-hmm. uh, initially fought Black Adam, they were kind of, they were even, like, like I guess kind of, sort of main characters in a sense. Yeah, you could say, you know, supporting cast members, but, you know, it was still... They, they played like a, exactly. They played like a major part though too. It was never like a dull moment, dull moment in the in the film. So it was actually quite good though too. And um, I guess in the dull moments, um, even with that, it's building up the story. Right. Even in the beginning, yeah. not going to give too much in the beginning, but it's kind of building up and building up. And there's like foreshadowing with it too. Like mm-hmm. it goes back to the beginning too. So like like what you were saying before. Yeah, exactly. So um, a lot of the uh, the actors in the film. Like, as, as we both said before, they did they part. The acting was on point. I never was once mad, as mm-hmm. I usually do get in some superhero films. I'm just, all right, man, let me just, okay, I got like, you know what I'm saying, 90 more minutes left. Let me just, you know, I'm, yeah, after that, I'm, I'm gone. But this one stuck out to me, though, too. Imagine if Black Adam, or I should say, uh, Dwayne Johnson had a beard. I don't know why, but I felt like if, mm-hmm. if you if you were a super villain and you have a beard and you bald, no one could, no one's not seeing something. you. No one's not <laughs> see you yeah, because you lost everything. Your hair, you don't care no more. You yeah, know nothing to lose. Yeah, you like all right, cool. I'm about to be like a ruthless villain, but yeah. But other than that though, yeah, he had a clean shave. But it's besides though, yeah, you um, you did your thing though. The way you know, say if you ever do see this, see this interview <laughs> nah, by the grace of God. Yes. Any any final thoughts on Black Adam? What they should do in the future? What where you see like like um, the the superhero movies like in five to ten years? Any? Oh okay. Well, um, in five to ten years, I, yeah, I would hope that um, my theory would you know what I'm saying come to life that they would uh, do like a little crossover. They're two different companies Look, though, right? That That's is the true. problem. That is true. Very much true. But um, just think about you know all the different you know what I mean possibilities. We could just hope for the best though too. I hope um, I hope his name does eventually you know what I'm saying die out. Like, I hope that people still uh, like he's the main talked about um, superhero uh, for maybe like a year or two. I don't know. But because <laughs> I remember yeah mm-hmm. when that Marvel came out, what's it called last I think it was last December. Mm-hmm. That was the most talked about. See. If they're making memes already, like, like about like the Thanos thing, yeah, like you know it's a good. You win the game, but you know, but uh, hopefully that um, uh, this doesn't become a flop. And so far, in my opinion, it has not. So in the future, um, I hope to see much, much more of a Black Adam. <laughs> yeah.
I guess my final thought is like I'm pretty happy that they actually like took time and effort to build a character, right. and it's not just like a shill or like something like to to promote something. Like they actually genuinely cared about this film. They built out the plot. They built out a character that's genuinely interesting and that shows a lot of flaws, not just like one or two flaws or like. Oh, you like uh, Superman who's like uh, kryptonite. It's like, that's the only flaw he has. Yeah. Like, it's hard to gravitate towards that. Um, but, yeah, like like Sam said, like, I hope they build on to this because, like, this is a really good series. Regardless of what, like, the stupid critics have to say about it, it's a pretty, it's a really, it's a pretty good film in my opinion. I'm not a big, like I said before, like earlier, I'm not a big Marvel or, like, a superhero or even movie person. Yeah. This was a good film. Yeah, Yeah. I should be, but yeah, yeah, like, it's a really good film. I hope they build to this. I hope they continue this. They have something interesting they could continue off of. And, um, not like I said, not to give too much, um, Superman probably has partially to do with Shazam, too, and I guess stuff like that. If you're in the DC Universe, you're going to eventually run into him. I'm just saying, (laughs) yeah, whether you want to like it or not. But, yeah, the... um, yeah, so I would say in closing, um, this is Sam, uh, excuse me, the Black Sam right here. <laughs> Black Sam, Arts and Entertainment, Talent Marks. This is Indian Sam, uh, Editor-in-Chief, and we're signing off. Peace.